Hey guys, I want to talk today about lead hardness when it comes to casting bullets. Uh, here lately I've been casting quite a few, everything from 45, 10 millimeter, 40 caliber, and 50 Beowulf, and have been pleased with just using the clip-on lead wheel weights that I've melted down, made into ingots, put back in the pot, and used. Um, haven't really cared a whole lot about the hardness of those. But with my 10 millimeter, I'm wanting to develop a hard cast flat nose load. Um, and so what I really need to do today is understand how hard the lead that I'm using is, and then how much tin, or I'm sorry, how much pewter I need to add to it. Uh, so what I'm using today are drafting pencils, and I Google it. Uh, it. It's a simple method. Is it exact? Probably not, but it's close enough for what... I'm using it for and what a lot of people use it for. Um, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than spending the money on an actual uh, hardness tester. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to file down just a small area, just so I've got a nice flat surface to work with. So I know one of these is with wheel weights and one of these is with soft lead that I was given that I melted down. Uh, I just used a cast iron cookie pan, I'm sorry, cast iron muffin pan to cast these and then uh, I forget where I got the molds for these but these are the ones I really like. Um, but So what we're going to do is we're going to, now that I've got a nice flat surface, we're going to start with the softest and see where it is. I'm pretty sure these are wheel weights, so they should be somewhere around maybe an 8 or a 10. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just try to make a scratch on it. And it, it marked it, but didn't didn't scratch it. So I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. And I can feel it just gliding right across the surface, so I know it's not scratching it. What I do like to do with the pencil tips, though, is get them kind of pointy. And all I'll do with that is just kind of run them on the file like that so I get a nice pointy tip. So now we're going to go to the next one. And again, I can feel it running on it, but it's not scratching. So now we're up to a 3B, which is the equivalent of a 10 on the uh, BHN scale. Still didn't scratch it. So 2B, which is 11 to 12. It's still going over it, not really scratching it. Now we're to a B, which is a 13. And there it scratched it. There you can clearly see the scratch in it. You can kind of see the, the different lighting in it. I can feel it with my thumb. So this tells me then that this is right around a 13 BHN. Uh, so when I go to add my pewter to it to make it harder, uh, I now know where I'm starting at. So I take my other example here, going to do the same thing, just get a nice smooth surface on it. A lot of people will say that you can quench wheel weights and get them up into the 20s. Um, I haven't tried any to see. Um, I'm more interested right now in messing with the alloys, just seeing what I can get up to. So we're going to start with the 6B, which would be the equivalent of a 4 to 5. And you can see scratched it already. So this is super soft. This is not clip on wheel weights. This is just soft lead. So I'd have to add a lot more pewter to this to get hard cast than I would uh, 
the clip on wheel way it led. So just a real quick example of uh, how I test my hardness when I'm doing cast bullets. Thanks.